Uh, next up is Rick, who is the chair of our advice of the Videonomics Advisory Board, and we're going to do a little bit of a, an interactive think through. So prepare for some fun. Um, it's my walk-up music, right? So uh, all you guys left here this afternoon are sort of the marathon runners, right? Yeah, you made it to the, almost to the end. The sprinters are gone. You know, we started this thing off with a 5K, 5K run the other morning, and uh, I noticed during the run that a lot of people started off very quickly and ended very slow. I think you're, you're the ones that paced yourselves, so congratulations. Um, this is going to be a uh, discussion group, so we need to have discussions. We need you all to move into tables. So can you all fill the, let's fill the tables in so we have a, a full group uh, at, at each table. Gretchen, yeah. did you have a point? Okay. You know, what this is about is you're all going to have a, a, a time to talk amongst yourselves and then elect a, a sort of a table leader who's going to summarize some ideas that your table comes up with on how marketers need to adapt. So let's, let's get as full of tables as we can. We have one huge table in the back. Let's try to have at least six people per table, more if, if it works out that way. So we have one, two. We need one more table. Hey, John, why don't you come on up here then? You guys want to sit over there in the corner by yourself so nobody can hear you? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so we're going to liven it up here this afternoon, and we thought, you know, after lunch, what, what, you know, what better thing is we... Let's, we'll talk a little Darwinism, right? That, that kind of liven your conversations up? Anybody, it, origin of the species, should we do that? Okay, not, maybe not. But we are talking about adapt. And you know, I just pulled a couple of quotes um, from origin of the species. Uh, it's not the strongest species that survived, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. You might argue that you need to have some intelligence to respond, but this is, uh, this is what ADAPT is about. Uh, in the struggle for survival, the fittest win out at the expense of their rivals because they succeed in adapting themselves best to their environment. So in all the conversations that have been going on here for the last couple days, in all the innovation in uh, programmatic and automation and brands of storytellers and multi-channel marketing, it's all, the environment is changing uh, more rapidly than it ever has before, and it's forcing marketers to adapt or suffer. Um, and then finally, is in the long history of humankind, and it, those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. And I think the last couple of days, I've seen an awful lot of collaboration amongst different, different types of participants here, from media agencies to creative agencies to uh, clients, and media companies and service vendors. The round tables that happened yesterday, an awful lot of exchange of ideas and collaboration. And what we're gonna ask you to do right now at your very own table is to collaborate amongst yourselves, um, elect a table leader that will summarize your conversation. And really what we wanna to get to is a piece of advice uh, that you'll have for marketers today. After what, what you've just consumed for the last couple of days and all the ideas that you've heard, it kind of creates a lot of chaos, doesn't it? So cut through all of that. What's the most important thing that you would, you would stand up here this afternoon and tell brand marketers, marketers everywhere, this is what you really need to think about. These are the things you need to adapt to uh, the most nimbly, the, the most quickly. These are the ones that really require your focus, attention, and your ability to change. So talk amongst yourselves. We'll have how long to do that, Josh? 
20 minutes or so? 20 minutes? Okay, almost like going to the, uh, to the cooking tables last night, 20 minutes, ready, go. Okay. Table number one over here, bring it on. Like, uh, come on, just step up on stage so everybody can see you and hear you. If you just, sure. There's stairs over there, but big guy, you can make that leap. We'll go one at a time. Sure. Yeah. Are you, what, what table are you from over oh, here? One at a time? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the enthusiasm. <laughs> it we won't can, be We can long. do it together. <laughs> you'll, you'll go next. Okay, introduce yourself and, uh, and let's hear from your table. Thank sure. you. Uh, I'm Nick Donahue. I work at Simul Media. Um, and a uh, little bit of background what we do. We're uh, a digital, uh, an ad tech company in the TV space. We're uh, a digital approach to linear TV, much like what you heard Mike Bologna speak about earlier today, addressable TV coming to the, you know, um, coming to the marketplace. We are uh, an audience buying company for TV. So. Um, at the table, we discussed sort of the advice that we would give to a marketer or an executive today in the context of how to live in a world where adaptation is becoming more and more important. And uh, we came up with a couple key highlights. So um, cha putting change at the center of everything you do uh, is extremely important in the context of um, failing faster, making mistakes faster, um, because now, uh, now that there's so much new media, so much new innovation and technology coming out, you have to educate yourself about it. It's really a, person, a personal mission that someone should take on to participate in these new digital, in these new digital forms of media, whether that be you know, old school marketer, getting on Twitter. One example, was, one, one example made was uh, there, was no, there was no notion of you know, how to iterate unless you're actually participating. So signing up for Twitter, actually tweeting, seeing the, seeing the actual um, effect that that had on you know, the people around you on a personal level helps break down those silos or breaks, breaks, breaks down those, um, those notions of fear of failing. So, um, and with digital today, you have this sort of canvas where you can go in and you can run campaigns and fail faster and iterate and then learn. So, um, breaking down those, breaking down the f that, that notion of fear of failing and also breaking down, uh, more importantly than silos within the organization. Um, if change is at the center of everything you do, then uh, everybody needs to be on the same page about, um, you know, iterating. So, uh, digital, pe a couple other notes I've got here. Folks with digital experience, um, you know, in the early days were the early adopters, but now everybody needs to be an early adopter. And uh, how do you make that how do you make that a reality in your organization? It's really about, um, you know, speak, uh, uh, disseminating that information from on, from on high. So it's the senior executives who are who really need to drive that notion of change, um, and you know, knowing what to do is just as important, at, or knowing what not to do is just as important as as knowing what to do. So um, again, very very important to uh, to continue adapting as things you know come come your way. Okay, great. Thank you. If any, this is a completely interactive session, as you can tell. So if you want to ask any questions of any of the other tables as they come up and present. It's funny how I heard this fail forward mentioned at just about every table. So you want to come on up? And contestant number two Great. Thank you. for the washer and dryer. Hi, I'm, I'm Dove Calder. I'm from Converge Direct. Uh, our table came up with a lot of great ideas. and. With the help of Samantha over there, we turned it into a poem to uh, elicit wow. yesterday's response. So my attempt at some Sam Punk poetry. Uh, hashtag act, hashtag ACT, and I'll tell you at the end what that stands for. So <clears throat> when it comes to content, brands have a choice. They can tell their story in their own voice. Their voice cannot be one that's borrowed, or the message won't be remembered tomorrow. Authentic, it must be, and collaboration is needed for transparency. And that is ACT, which is authenticity, collaboration, and transparency, is what we feel is very important to people today. That's outstanding. Well done. Thank you. Wow. Careful on the way down. It's going to be a really hard act to follow. So, yeah. Do you have a song? Are you gonna well, you're gonna, gonna si sing yours? Use the stairs. Haiku. A haiku. Oh, I say. 
That would be wonderful. Here, you're going to need this. Okay. Yeah, so I don't uh... Yeah, so we were going to do a haiku. Um, <laughs> Thanks to Hassan, since he didn't, ooh, just right up here. Since he didn't have his voice, uh, he was going to do a very short haiku. Uh, Walt Horseman from Audience Express. Uh, what we decided was we need to break down the silos at clients. And really the way to do that is to have a common uh, incentive, know what the common goal is. Because one of the, si the reason why silos are actually happening is because people have different measurement and different incentives. So with a common goal, uh, we can ensure that we have trust, share, giving up turf, and winning. Very good. That's it. Any questions? Thank you. By the way, um, our, our editor here, Gretchen, is taking notes on all of this, and we'll publish this back out to you. So um, be sure you tell her your name so she can credit your comments as well. Who's, who's next? Do you want this one? There you go. Thank you. I am uh, Jim O'Donnell from Hulu, and um, I will present our findings in a three-act play with music. <laughs> if I could have everyone up here. You cue the music, Mike. Come on. Okay, so some of the things have already been mentioned, so I'll try and not be redundant. We have eight points. Number one, make better mistakes, fall forward. We all get that one. We said it 10 times. Challenge your vendors and your agencies to expand their tools, their ideas, and their talent. Teams are overworked and understaffed. Anyone on the agency side agree with at all? Anyone? Okay. We thought we might get some love on that one. Uh, be willing to experiment and challenge legacy thinking. Don't do things because they've been done that way for a long time. Media plans can change. People can be creative and be creative thinkers. Uh, define what programmatic, addressable, means to you and your brand and what your strategy is before you decide that you need to do it or before you go out and do it. Figure out what it is and whether you need okay. to do it so, before you go out and do it. So uh, keep your customers first. Okay. Keep it simple. Uh, data informs the decisions that you make. It does not do make do the decisions anything? for you, which is a great one from Pete. Uh, be smart on the landscape and how agencies and marketers need to evolve. This isn't something machines can do. That's what takes people. So we're not going to have less people. We need more people to be smart on the landscape. And here's our favorite. Not everything is going to be a home run, but everything is going to be a learning experience. You will learn from it. And we love clients. We urge clients to say, we need people that will walk hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder with us down this path while we try something new that's never been done before. And it can get a little scary, and things could go wrong. But if we do it together, that's when the good stuff happens. It's when you want to do something that's never been done before, but you expect it to be perfect is when it doesn't happen. So, thanks. Great, 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 great. Anybody else? One more. We need a mic. Jerry has got the mic. So, Dan Carroll from Icon International. Um, we felt like we would uh, tell them that uh, the objectives are staying the same. Um, and to be clear with those objectives um, uh, with everyone, including themselves. So know what your objectives are and, and be clear with everybody uh, who's a stakeholder. Um, uh, take simple steps, get started and take simple steps and have a, have a learning agenda. Uh, find someone you trust and then actually trust them uh, to, to fulfill or, or help you. Um, and a couple of things that other people have said, and uh, embrace automation. So it, it eventually leads to higher level thinking and greater accountability to your ultimate goals. All right, thank you very much.